Hello guys, welcome again to our Laravel series. Today we're gonna learn something new again. So we will be dealing with databases. So let's first uh, create a database migration using the PHP artisan command. And also Laravel provides default tables which can be found here. So under the databases, let me zoom this one. So under the database and migrations, so as you can see we have the user stable password reset stable create fail job stable create personal access token so this is the default table that laravel offers so you should not delete this one but if you want to create a custom field or add an additional field to your user stables so you can do that one so let's go ahead and try that one so for example the default user tables of Laravel are the name, email, email verified at, password, remember token, and timestamps. So, what if we add more columns so we can do that? So just copy paste this one, for example, this password. And so the string here is the column name. For example, let's have a column name role, which holds the role of the user. And for example, the user's age or status so our status should uh, identify by number so integer and let's call this one status so if you want to add more you can do that so just go to the laravel docs and database migra migrations to help you get started with this one so let's just close this one and what if we add more tables so we can do that with the php uh, artisan command okay so let's go ahead and try that one php artisan make migration space our table name for example let's have a table name called fruits so i will type here create fruits table and hit enter so as you can see migration created successfully so let's check this one if it's really created so under database migrations and there you go as you can see our table here or i mean our migration here is already created the create fruits table so let's open this one as you can see our migration successfully created and here Let's add more column to our table. For example, we have a string column, which has the value of name, the fruit name. So this one is nullable. This means that this is not a required field. And let's create another one. For example, the cost of the fruit. My bad so this should be integer see the cost of the fruit what else and i think the color of the fruit so color string also let's create this one nullable so hit save so let's try to create our database now but before we create our database make sure that our environment variable is already set for the database connection okay so let's go ahead and set that one and let's connect our database so let's use mysql so our database username is root and mine i don't set password our database is laravel tutorial make sure that this database is existing in your database so let's check this one if it's really existing so i'm gonna go ahead open my mysql manager so connect so this is our database this one the laravel tutorial so let's check 
so tables so as you can see this database has no table yet so let's create the migration so that the tables will be supplied here so let's hit save our environment variable close this one and now we will start the migration so let's type php artisan migrate hit enter so if you can see this message it means that this our migration is successful so let's check our database here so let me refresh this one as you can see i have already here the icon for the plus button it means that our table is created successfully and let's check for the users so like and there you go so we have the id name email and verify email verified at password role that we just created or the newly added column and the status so fruits let's check the fruits and also our fruits is uh created successfully so that's how you create a database migration in laravel one thing I like for the Laravel's database migration is that we are allowed to roll back our migration. So it means our tables from our database will be deleted and that we can modify our migrations, add more columns or delete more columns and execute the migrate command again. So let's try to roll back ours. So php artisan migrate rollback hit enter. So let's check so our database if the tables are deleted. So let me refresh this one. So as you can see our tables are now deleted except for this one. So you can also delete this one but I choose not to. So let's run our migration again. For example, we made some changes here for our fruits table. We will uh, let's make this not nullable, the cost, and also the name. So you can add here more properties to our tables. So just visit the Laravel website and go ahead on the database section. So you can see some useful properties here and now let's create our migration again so php artisan make my php artisan migrate hit enter and there you go let's check our database refresh there you go our table successfully recreated let's check so let's check so i think we modified the fruits so i will just check the this time so as you can see the name is not null and the cost is not null because we removed the nullable property from our migration so that's it for now guys so i hope you learn something new and on the next video let's try to connect to an existing database because what if we already have a existing database and we just want to connect it to our laravel application so we can also do that so let's discuss that one on the next video thanks for watching guys so if you learned something new today consider subscribing to this channel to help this channel grow and thank you guys